Hi everyone, my name is Mark Moykins from Big Mountain Studio. Can you guess where we are today? We are in Snowbird, Utah. It's a world famous ski resort. Specifically on the top of this lodge, we're out in the Cliff Spa. And as you can see, it's super beautiful here. It's a very nice day. And even though it's only October, we got our first snow. And it's not enough to go skiing or snowboarding yet, but the winter's off to a great start. So keep watching, and I hope you enjoy this next video. Hi everyone, my name is Mark Moykins from Big Mountain Studio. If you're interested in iOS development, then subscribe and click on that bell icon so you can get notified when these new videos come out. Now, earlier in this series, we implemented the ability for the user to select a photo from the photo library. Well, what if they want to resize that photo after they're done selecting it? Well, that's exactly what we're going to learn in this video. So there's just two steps, really. When we set up our UI image picker controller, we just have to allow editing. And then once we allow editing, after we're done picking the photo, we want to check to see if the user edited the photo, such as cropping it, or if they're just going to go with the original image, and then we're going to select that. So if you look at the screen here, this is what we're going to show when they allow editing. Now there's one thing to note here. iOS really doesn't have a lot of features when it comes to allow editing. Built-in features, that is. So this is all they're going to give you in their view controller. Now if you want to do anything beyond this, you're going to have to create your own view controller and do the photo editing yourself. So this is all we get for now. So this should be pretty simple. Let's go into our project and let's enable editing and set the edited photo after the user is done editing it. Okay, we are in our project and this view controller that we're in is the view controller where they select the photo. So here's where we actually create our photo picker right here. This is the UI image picker controller. And this is where we're going to set the allow editing. So if we do that, you see this property right here. So this is like the first one, I think, allows editing. And it's just a Boolean value indicating whether the user is allowed to edit a selected still image or movie. So really, they're just going to edit an image. And we'll set that to true. And by default, as you probably guess, it's set to false. So without doing anything else, let's just see what that gets us. Okay, so let's edit this and let's click on the camera. We can select a photo. And so you see this is a little bit different. And again, it, you know, it's just a square cropping. So if I hold down the option key, I can zoom in. And this is just like a two finger, you know, expanding here. And so this is the image that you want to go with. If I click choose, then nothing's going to happen. It's not going to zoom in on it because we're not taking the edited image. So let's do that next. Now, as you can see right here, this line, what we're doing is we're grabbing the original image. And this might clear it up for you, like why we set it even to the original image. Because you can edit the image and you can grab the edited image instead of the original one instead. So, what we're going to do is we want to check if there is an edited image. So, let's do that. And it's going to look just like this line of code right below it edited image right there. Okay, and if there is an edited image, then let's set that. It's just basically this line of code right here. Okay, now after we check for an edited image, if we don't have one, then we'll go with the original image. So I'll just say else, and then we want to go with uh, this if statement right here. There we go, that should work. And then we'll dismiss the view controller and come back to our screen and show the edited image. So let's try that now. Okay, I go to edit, select an image, and I'm holding down option. I'm going to zoom in as much as I can. We'll get that yellow flower there in the middle and choose that. And as you can see here, it shows the yellow flower that we zoomed in on. So it's working just exactly the way we wanted it to. So let's save that and it puts it on our cell. So there you go, it's pretty simple and it's pretty limited. Okay, so that's it really for this video. We allowed the user now to be able to edit the photo and really the only editing we can do is just resize it and crop it at a certain size. So that's really all you can do with the built-in iOS UI image controller. So and there's just two steps to it, right? So we set allows editing to true. And the second thing is we wanna look for an edited image and make sure that's not null. 
because if it isn't, then that's the image we wanna take. That means they cropped it. And if they didn't crop it, then we go with the original image. All right, thanks guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends, subscribe. If you wanna help out and provide a translation for the title in the description of this video, that would be super cool. All right, thanks guys.